Hi all, welcome to my channel Maya Journal. Today we are going to make a crochet border lace around the cloth. Here I am using a white cotton handkerchief. You can use any cloth of your choice. It can be a tablecloth, a napkin, a scarf, anything. Crochet hook here I am using is size 10 that is 1.3 mm. Here I am using the embroidery threads green and pink color. If you want you can use the crochet thread also. And we will need a pair of scissors. I am starting off with a green thread. Pierce a hole at the corner of the cloth with the help of crochet hook. Now pull up a thread and tie a knot to secure it. Now insert the hook in the same hole and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through that loop. Make 3 chains 1, 2 and 3. Leave some space and pierce another hole and make a single crochet. To make a single crochet insert the hook, pull up a loop you will have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is a single crochet. Again make three chains. One, two and three chains. Then leave some space. Pierce a hole and make a single crochet. Insert the hook. Pull up a loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both the loops for single crochet. Repeat the process. Make 3 chains. Leave some space. Make single crochet. Again make 3 chains. Leave some space. Make single crochet and repeat the pattern. This is row 1, the base row. Repeat the pattern and meet me at the corner. At the corners now, we have to make closer stitches. That means, the pattern will remain same but we will leave little less space between two single crochets. The stitches are made closer here at the corners to avoid the stretch. So the pattern will remain same, we just have to make closer stitches at the corners to make it neat. Repeat the pattern on all the 4 sides of the cloth. And meet me after you are done with row 1. At the end, after making 3 chains, make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to end the row 1. Pull up a loop and snip off the thread leaving a long tail. Make a knot to secure it well. Repeat and make one more knot. This is how it will look like after completing the row 1. 
we have made many blocks here in row 1 and now we are going to make the pattern in these blocks now let's make row 2 with the pink thread tie a knot with the pink thread to get started Secure it well with 2 to 3 knots. To begin with, we will make one single crochet in the first block. In the next block, we will make a double crochet. To make a double crochet yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, you will have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through first 2 loops, again yarn over, pull through remaining 2 loops. This is a double crochet. Make one more double crochet in the same block. Make third double crochet in the same block. Now make two chains. One, chain two. Again make fourth double crochet in the same block. Let's make 5th double crochet in the same block, 6th double crochet in the same block. These are 3 double crochets, 2 chains and 3 double crochets. Now in this next block, let's make 1 single crochet. In the next block, repeat the pattern, make 3 double crochets, double crochet 1, double crochet 2 in the same space, double crochet 3 in the same space again. Now let's make 2 chains, chain 1, chain 2. Double crochet 4 in the same space, double crochet 5 and the last one double crochet 6 all in the same space. So 3 double crochets, 2 chains and 3 double crochets. In the next block let's make 1 single crochet. This is how the pattern will look like. Let's repeat it in the next block. Let's make 3 double crochets. Two chains. Again make 3 double crochets all in the same space. In the next block, end it with single crochet. So we will begin with single crochet, make the pattern of 3 double crochets, 2 chains, 3 double crochets and end it with again a single crochet. In the corners, the pattern will remain same. Just in case if you get a stretch in the corners, make 
two single crochets instead of one. Here I have got the corners right and so I am making the pattern as it is. I am not increasing any stitch in the corner. It's just the same. 3 double crochets, 2 chains and 3 double crochets in one block, 1 single crochet in the next block. See how neat the corners are. If you are out of the thread, join a new skein and get going. Let's tie a knot holding both the threads together. Secure it well with the second knot. And get going with the same pattern as shown in the video. Hide the knot and the tail of the thread under the stitches. See how neat it looks on both the sides, front and the back side. Follow the pattern on all the four sides and meet me at the end. Now let's end row 2 by making the slip stitch. This is slip stitch 1. I am making one more slip stitch to make it secure pull up a loop snip off the thread leaving a long tail secure it with the knot repeat it one more time after making two knots turn it to the back side and now hide the end of the thread under the stitches Secure it with knots and hide the tail under the stitches. After repeating for 4 to 5 times, snip off the extra thread. This is how the handkerchief will look like after completing both the rows. 
I hope you like the video. Kindly share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for more creative tutorials. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your love and support and meet you in the next one. Have a good one.